Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I want to talk to you guys about four fragrances that are new to me from the house of Sammy Andros that I love a lot. Um, I actually like these even more than the last batch. I think he kind of is getting like a pretty good idea of what my taste is. And let me go ahead and start off with two that I know are um, inspired by other fragrances because I want to talk to you about that a little bit. And the first one I want to talk to you about is Fruity Seduction. Now, the notes in here are cherry, almond, liquor, plum, and sandalwood. The cherry is the thing that you're gonna get the absolute most of as soon as you spray that first spray. I feel like that liquor and almond come out and the sandalwood just kind of keeps the fragrance held together a little bit creamier. This is inspired by Lost Cherry, which I haven't smelled in probably over a year now. But this initial blast, you get straight up Machino cherries and I love that. Um, I love anything that kind of reminds me of something like in a realistic way and Machino cherries, you know, if you guys have ever had like Shirley Temples back in the day. Well, I mean, I guess you could have them now. I don't know why I would say back in the day, but it just kind of rem reminds me of the uh, Shirley Temples that we used to get when we were like at weddings, when we were younger and you know, we couldn't drink or anything. So we would just get those. And I love those Machino cherries. We used to like eat them up. But I definitely get a liquor in here. I know that because I got a little bit of booziness the first time I sprayed it. I didn't instantly revert to Lost Cherry, mostly because it's been a really long time since I smelled it, but I really love that cherry presence in here. Yeah, and it's a pretty strong performer. They're all, I think they're all like straight to parfum. Yeah, I mean, this definitely is like straight to parfum. But it's really, really good. If you like a cherry note, and if you like the scent of Machino cherries, and you like a little bit of a boozier fragrance, this is honestly the one to go to. I think the almond is really nice in here. I don't think it goes like powdery or anything like that. But it's funny that it, it's called Fruity Seduction because I think it's a little bit playful, a little bit flirty. And when I opened this box, initially this was my favorite, but I kind of cycled through all of them. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you which one my favorite is which hopefully I'll have decided by the end. Next. The next one is called Al Mascherk. And this one is inspired by, but not a clone of or anything, but just inspired by from the house of Abdul Samad Al Qureshi Safari. And I'm gonna read you the notes. And it's vanilla, ylang ylang, jasmine, tea leaf, wildflowers, seaweed, musk, and pine. So for me, this is a pretty sweet fragrance, but in a really good way. To me, this is sweet, but it's really floral and creamy. That's what I get the most of. And I love that. I kind of love the like feeling of, kind of feeling like royalty when I'm wearing a fragrance. And creamy florals kind of give me that feel. Like I could really see this one. You could dress it down, but I could really see it being dressed up because it's gorgeous really creamy, really floral. Um, I don't even think it really leans too feminine or anything like that. If you don't like florals, you may not like it, but it's gorgeous. And the first time I smelled it, I was immediately like, wow, this is so good. This whole batch that I got from him is really good, but I love that you could dress this one up and I just think it's so sexy and it's really good guys. I mean, I get a little bit of like saltiness off my skin, but it's not the life of it. It's just kind of like the beginning. And I think it's that seaweed note. That's what I kind of figured. But for the most part, I just get creamy floral and I love that. And it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. The perfect amount of sweetness to it. I don't feel like it's too sweet. Um, but if you love a creamy floral, this is definitely the way to go. I haven't smelled the, the one that it's inspired by. So I really couldn't tell you. Um, but if you have smelled it and you like it, but you don't want to buy that full bottle, you may want to try this because it's really good. Next one I talked about on Instagram a little bit. It's going to be Mystery 1.0 Extrait de Parfum. So this one has coffee, leather, cypriol, sandalwood, and oud. Sounds like a really serious fragrance, right? No, because the coffee in here is like a sweetened coffee. So to me, this is like more of a playful, more wearable oud fragrance. 
It's got a nice amount of woodiness. The coffee, again, is more of like a sweetened coffee. It's not like a, like a dark black roast coffee. You're gonna get the creaminess from the sandalwood. You're gonna get a little bit of dark coffee, but there's also that sweetened part as well because I think that's what makes it a little bit more playful. Cipriol is more of a background note, but all in all, if you're looking for like a playful oud fragrance that's a little bit more wearable and you can kind of reach for it anytime, you don't have to worry about the setting, you could dress this one up or down. And I kind of like that about this fragrance. Um, kind of more of like a date night oud. Uh, and like, I mean, by date night oud, like you could wear it on a first date and you're not going to offend the person you're with. Because some ouds just don't do that. It's a horrible idea. But this one, yeah, super playful. I mean, like, just like the bottle, like you got like your pinks and your purples. It's a playful looking bottle. It's a playful oud. Next. The last one to me is the most unique. That's kind of why I saved it for last. And it's going to be Mystery 2.0, like straight to Parfum. Guys, let me read you the notes off this. You've got Cacao Pod, Pineapple, Coffee, Dark Chocolate, Ambergris, Apple, Grapes, Birch. This has everything in it. The chocolatey notes in the pineapple are what come out initially. But once this dries down, I feel like I get a lot of ambergris and some of that woodiness from the birch. And the coffee and the chocolate and everything, they keep going, but it's kind of like a fresher version of like a gourmand fragrance. And at work, I know one girl that is never impressed. I mean, sometimes, but very rarely. Um, she said she smelled the coffee, like, and we were like five hours in and she's like, oh, it kind of smells like coffee or maybe like a dessert. I don't think it's your perfume. And I was like, uh, hold on. So I like put my wrist up to her and she's like, oh my God, it is that. And she really liked it. And I think this is her favorite one that I've ever worn. And I've worn a lot. So I was pretty impressed by that. If you kind of like a gourmand vibe, but not too gourmand, this freshens it up to where I have to say this is my favorite. I don't think this is inspired by anything, not that anything that I can think of at least. I smell it the entire time I'm wearing it. They're all really good with longevity. And I'm saying, I think I, the least you're gonna get is eight hours. I have very hydrated skin, but I mean, worst case scenario, if you don't just spray your clothes, and don't spray too much of this. This is an extrait and you do not want to overspray. Right off the nozzle, you get a ton of chocolate. That's what you get. But on your skin and in the dry down, it just is like a nice fresh coffee with the pineapple, with the chocolate. It's really good. I mean, I like it a lot. Uh, and again, like I've kind of cycled through each one of them being my favorite. I think day one, sometime during the day, Mystery 1.0 was my favorite. At some point, I think Upon Arrival, Fruity Seduction was my favorite. Day two, this one was my favorite. But I think I landed on Mystery 2.0 being my favorite. Just because I like that you have the best of both worlds. Gourmand and fresh at the same time. If you guys have tried this one, comment down below because I really like it. Um, if you tried anything else, comment down below letting me know what I need to try. If you've tried any of these, let people know what you think. Down below, people actually read the comments. I already told you guys that and you already know. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!